Good afternoon. I'm here as a representative of a new Canadian initiative called Low Carbon Cities Canada, or LC3 for short. LC3 has received a $183 million allocation in federal government's budget 2019 as part of a $350 million investment in the Federation of Canadian Municipalities Green Municipal Fund. LC3 is a self-sustaining initiative that will support community action to accelerate urban carbon reduction solutions. Based on a proven Canadian model, the project is designed to support the Pan-Canadian Framework on Clean Growth and Climate Change to help Canada meet 2030 and 2050 climate targets. Climate impacts are being felt most acutely in cities around the world, including in Canada. Cities are where half of our national carbon emissions originate from sources such as buildings, transportation, industry and waste. This is why cities are an important place to focus our attention in our efforts to meet our climate targets. Local host organizations have already been mobilizing for over two years to prepare to quickly deploy new resources to accelerate climate action in seven of Canada's largest urban areas. Vancouver in the Lower Mainland, Edmonton, Calgary, the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area, here in Ottawa, Montreal Metropolitan Community and the Halifax region. The Federation of Canadian Municipalities is our national partner in this work and it's perfectly situated to leverage their deep existing relationships with Canadian cities to support LC3 and connect the program with cities all across the country. LC3 centres will position local climate actions for broad scale adoption. They will provide grants, financing and programmatic supports to help advance actions like energy retrofits and net zero construction of new buildings distributed renewable power systems, shared mobility and electrification of transportation, and a zero waste economy. Work will be done in full collaboration with local municipalities, but will be specifically designed to engage many different community sectors, prioritizing low carbon opportunities that maximize co-benefits, such as improved public health, increased access to mobility, and local job creation. The LC3 program was advanced after a cross-country consultation concluded there is a need for more assistance to speed up climate action in cities in light of the pressing need to advance Canada's greenhouse gas emission reductions. LC3 is modelled after the work of the Atmospheric Fund. Since 1991, this unique agency has contributed to significant local air pollution and emission reduction outcomes in Toronto while revolving its original $23 million asset to put more than $60 million into community actions and profitable local climate investments. People in Canadian cities are increasingly concerned about climate change and seeking local solutions. LC3 will tap into diverse community resources, insights and investments and invite broad engagement. It will provide complementary supports in collaboration with, with municipalities, and it will design climate actions that address not only climate change, but also core community issues, public health, local economic development and social equity. For example, more efficient transportation options will reduce the productivity losses associated with traffic congestion and keep city air cleaner. Scaling up building retrofits will provide local jobs and can create new opportunities for those experiencing barriers to employment. Improving the energy efficiency of Canada's homes and buildings will make them more affordable by lowering energy bills and improving the condition of building stock in social housing will create better living conditions for some of our most vulnerable local residents. LC3 will safeguard and leverage the federal investment over time. Federal funding of this program will be matched through local donations and investments. LC3 centres are housed within experienced local host organisations that are ready to put funding to work quickly at the local level. Rather than spending down the capital, LC3 centres will invest it on a revolving basis, maximising opportunities to invest specifically in climate change and clean growth ventures. This will provide ongoing revenue to support the activity of, of these centres in perpetuity. Thanks so much for the opportunity to talk to you about this today and I, I look forward to your questions.